Welcome back to the Instables, everyone. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. I wanted to go over exactly what we're looking for as we test prior resistance that we just got a rejection from. Again, our prior gap downs that we had this rejection from. Again, gapping up into our prior gap downs is exactly what we were looking for. And now looking to see if we will continue to reject or continue on higher above this resistance. I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for from here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news before market open, we mentioned any pre-market news you want to be watching two and a half hours before market open, any major volatile mover you want to be watching, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So jumping into the spy with you guys here again, looking at our intraday perspective off the bat as we look at our daily candle structure for that anticipation on what we're looking for going into this next week. Again, as we have a spike, we want to make sure we confirm above our resistance here. We want a spike. We want a continuation and proof of concept on that spike to make sure that we do continue on above resistance and that this resistance doesn't turn into a false break to the upside, a possible consolidated pullback or a possible rejection, possible false break to the upside with an engulfing candle to the downside, which would give us that retest in our eight day that we still do need. So again, keeping in mind that we have our eight day that we are curling up with, we need to continue to curl up with, and that we do need to continue on, in my opinion, with a bounce off of to continue on with that strength that we're looking for. Again, with our 12 below our 26 on our MACD, with this confirmation that we're looking for to cross higher, so that way we can continue with that increase in buy pressure that we're looking for. Again, we've been getting that decrease in sell pressure with our white shaded lines here. We very much want to see that increase in buy pressure and continuation with increases in buy pressure. Again, a very nice gap up to retest our prior high here. But again, making sure that we get proof of concept is key here as we have very little room, in my opinion, to run and overextend into that we have here. Again, a major rejection. The body of our candle just above where we are spiking into so again we have room up to 448 at the very most in my opinion and again this is the upper end of our fib extension that we're looking at here and so in my opinion if we continue on past 445 again our 0.786 fib then we can retest our 448 level in my opinion and that would be that continuation on higher and in my opinion proof of concept for that strength and continuation on higher so that's what we're looking for intraday we can get that proof of concept above 445 and again if we do get a rejection we get any possible false breaks to the upside then in my opinion dropping back down below 440 would be that possible retest here at 437 for that possible bounce off of our eight day or if we do break down then we will know exactly when that happens again dropping to below our eight day and getting that confirmation below our eight day will be that bearish candle structure so again looking for confirmation will be key here and that's exactly what we'll be looking for here on the daily chart and now looking at our weekly chart looking at our overall candle structure here in my opinion as we have a momentum candle following consolidation and momentum to the upside as we have proof of concept on strength to the upside we definitely are cautious to the downside as we have been mentioning but very much making sure that we continue to bounce off of our eight weekly moving average will be key here as we do continue to curl up we want to make sure that we continue to get that proof of concept off of support so that way we do continue on higher so again going to next week we will keep an eye on exactly how we do hold prior resistance that we are now testing we want to see that continuation on strength prior resistance that we want to make sure we continue on with strength and proof of concept with now again with that said if you are a day trader if you're looking for pre-market news before market open those major volatile movers you want to be watching major levels that you want to be watching go to instables.com in the description below and for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And again, all of you Instables, I appreciate every one of you guys for supporting the channel every single day. We will continue to go at it, stay patient, and take what the market gives us as we have been. Again, just staying cautiously to get into Fed Minutes on Wednesday is what we will be leading into. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.